and at that moment people said they experienced god's touch i experienced god's touch on my shoulder and you know what he told me i'm the father to the father <laughs> So guys we are back welcome back msiende mahali popote So our guest today ni mnajonga kuna dad na stepfather who eto amekuwa na baba watatu so far So I want him to talk about the third father Let him familiarize us with him So please After some years I'm at an immediately mm-hmm. you came to know of a father a father who has loved you a father who has been there for you mm-hmm. a father who has protected you mm-hmm. a father who will you like oko 100% sure he'll always be there for you yep so tell us more about it where did it start i came to meet my father initially I'd met my father when i uh, had given my life to him but it, the the reality and experience of meeting him came on one father's day on one father's day i was in a church service and uh, i was playing keys and while i was playing keys then pastor say, say that let every family go together and pray as a family and you know i'm in that church i'm alone i don't have a father there i don't have a mother there i don't have a brother there i'm just me So it really hit me hard because I could see children running to their fathers, uh, youth running to their father, their family taking family photos, but I'm just there hanging alone. And I remember that was the day when I shed tears about my dad. Let me interrupt you. How old were you by then? That I was uh, about uh, 17. Okay. 17, 16, 17 years. It it did hit me hard. And uh, as I was thinking about it because I played kids and then went and and sat down because The people I was with they were not sensitive of what was going on because they knew my father is not there and uh, so I was there after sitting down while they were praying I sat down and I closed my eyes and I was thinking about my grandfather then asking myself why my dad died and at that moment people said they experienced God's touch I experienced God's touch on my shoulder and you know what he told me I'm the father to the fatherless fear not I'm with you that's the only word I was given and i felt peace total peace and freedom came over me like and from that moment i never thought about my father again i've always known god as my father so if i have any other thing i go to him good example when i was in high school i had very hard time because school fees issue having a single mom and uh, and a job now you have to pay school fees i can confess that i i studied in high school with those school fees The only school fees I paid was uh, 10,000 in the first term of the school. Like you. And uh, while things were happening and I'm being sent home for school fees, I will cry to my father and ask him, "Lord, you took me to that school. I don't have money and I don't have a father that you you know how you'll pay my fees. I don't know." And uh, God also being a father, you always want to see your consistency. So Whenever I was sent home for school fees, I will go to library and study from the library. I I I I copied the timetable of school on my book and went with it to the library. So whenever school opens at eight, I was in library at eight. The first lesson being math, I will do math until the time written there is over. Then I go to the next topic, then to the next, then to the next. And God was giving me such understanding that I could go back to school, do the exam and pass. I remember one time I went back to school after three months not being in school and I got an A as number one in the entire school. Oh, wow. So I was labeled genius. But for me, I knew it's God because when people were revising for exam, I was reading the Bible. That's the time, at the time I read the book of Matthew, all of it in that revision. So the teacher asked me, do you want to become a pastor? I said, no, I'm just talking to you. I just want to read the Bible because I've not been in school. I give myself stress for revising. So... But the result came out. God confirming that he is the father who said he said he is and yeah. and that has been a journey that transformed me. Another example which is very very important. Uh, a day came when our school was broken into by fellow student and they stole all our textbooks. 
all from the locker and uh, that friday i was sick so i was home on thursday because i was sick so going back to school i found on monday my locker was broken into and 13 textbooks of school were stolen and everybody was their books were stolen but when i opened my my locker i only found a book of a subject i didn't like agriculture and uh, i opened it i locked it and sat on it and just talked to my father whom i know and told him father you brought me to this school not because i chose it but you brought me with your own purpose my locker has been broken into and my books are stolen i don't know where i'll get the money to pay them so i'm giving until 11 a.m i need my books back all of them you know what happened all my books were returned at 11 35 a.m the guys who stole the books were arrested oh, wow. and all my books were recovered the books totaling about uh, 135,000 were all back remember i have i have school issues the school fees issues i'm sent home i'm going home for sickness and i'm coming back my locker is broken and then talking to him directly and he answers it immediately does god sometimes desire for us to talk with him like a father not yeah. like some big genie seated up there uh, waiting for you waiting to punish you that's how people perceive god to be but god is a loving father he is there to listen to his children at all time yeah true at all time yeah so that's how i discovered him as a father and he introduced himself to me as a father until date he has never failed me in any way not a single day and he never fails that's what he says mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so our last not question but to end up i would like you to talk to those people who do not have fathers have never seen them or they are there but absent mm. just give them a word of motivation and yeah maybe it will be helpful to someone all right um because if you did it they can also do it with or without them yes they can yeah. so one one thing i can i can tell you that you'll remember for life is be grateful for being where you are right now because that is what is important don't ever question yourself for what you missed or what you never got because life in itself is a mystery we can never understand and if you think you want to understand life you'll end up dying without understanding it our elders never understood life and life is hidden in god's hands he said my, your days and your life are written on my palm so what i can tell you is as much as you have reached this far i'm proud of you and I know your father will have told you that, but today I take that response to tell you I'm proud of you and you've made it so far. And uh, for whatever else that might be disturbing you, just know that God loves you and he really wants the best for you as a father who is not visible but is active and is operating in all faculties. I am one of the person who has not experienced the loving touch of a father on a physical measure, but I've seen the provision and powerful name of God being lifted in my life. If I was to live my life depending on my dad, I think things i have achieved so far i will have not achieved them if i focused on that mm -hmm. things that kills you from achieving what you want to achieve in life is looking back while going forward which will never happen the next thing we'll do is you will crash and fall and you lose your direction your purpose and your mission in life if your father failed to become a father you can be a good father you yourself by taking charge of what you thought your father would have taken upon you to become a good father and if your mom even left or whatever you can become that that you wish he was because as much as you have learned the lesson now apply the lesson to becoming that person don't go repeating the same history that you have overcome or went through it is not worth it it's not you to repeat the history to your children because we are told that we always replicate what you have gone through but since you know that you can replicate what you went through now look for a better side of making a difference you want to see the ratio that will celebrate that my father was there for me and he lifted me with his hands and he made me become this person that's the story we want to hear about you and we want to see your child in interview like this saying if it was not my father helping me to become great i will not be where i am today yeah. if not my mom 
being the mom she is i'll not be here where i am today i'm also grateful to my mom who introduced me to christ in a deeper meaning in a deeper level and today i can stand here and just say mom i'm proud of you thank you and uh, above that everything in life revolves around you the choice you're going to make will not help you you will make it on your own be it your lady or a guy you'll make a choice on your own and the end of it i'll tell you what my grandfather told me whatever you do in this life whatever choice you make there's a consequence attached to it and are you ready to bear the consequences and i'll tell you what else mr dr miles maro told me through his content that if you want to do anything in life ask yourself do you want to remember this in the next 10 5 years do you want to remember this if you don't want to remember that let it go but if you want to remember it continue so far where i am today i thank the lord because he has been a father that has always been there supporting me helping me motivating and also making me see his goodness each and every single day and all to that glory to god i think that's all i can say and uh, guys take responsibility of yourselves good mm. so guys do you want to remember this do you so we've come to the end of the video today and i hope it was helpful to someone and till the next video bye bye